Did you know Rittenhouse did single barrels? I didn't, but a month and change ago, I got an email informing me otherwise. And what made this revelation even more tantalizing was because of David Driscoll. He has a great palette, is a really nice guy, and in my opinion, is worth a follow on Instagram. I'll link to his profile below. Among the LA booze cognoscenti, David is something of a local legend. He picked some absolutely stunning barrels during his time at KNL Wine, and until recently he worked at Mission, which is where I got this bottle. And yes, he picked the barrel. And since many people, myself included, think that Rittenhouse is the perfect rye for mixing, David sent out to find the barrel that made the best sipper. The bottle is incredibly specific. It indicates that it came from floor 7 of Rickhouse L, and even lists the barrel number and the date it was barreled, which was March 26, 2018. And as it was bottled late last year, it's approximately 4 years and 9 months old. Mission is selling it for 30 bucks, which I think is kind of a steal given that they sell the regular expression for 26. So let's check it out. Let's give it a nose. Subtle vanilla, even subtler baking spice. The most dominant scent so far is wood, but letting it sit in the glass for a while brings out some of those peppery notes that we associate with rye. With a rye, I expect spice, and that is not the first thing I get here. There's more vanilla than I was expecting, and the mouthfeel, while not viscous, is kind of buttery, and it is smooth. It almost tastes like a mix between a bourbon and a rye, but it doesn't have that characteristic spiciness that I've come to expect in ryes, and doesn't have any of the honey notes in a lot of bourbons. And also, I can't stop drinking it. But there's only one way to truly gauge this product. More heat on the nose and that expected pepperiness. And that is what I expect from a rye. The flavor and the proof guarantee that it'll hold up in any cocktail. But yeah, this is so solid. There's a reason it's considered a workhorse. Whereas in this, the spice notes are more subdued and the vanilla is a little bit more forward. I feel like I can really taste the barrel in this one, and it's nice. I don't think this is too good to mix though. It'd make a great old fashioned gold rush or even a Boulevardier. So who should buy this? If you're a collector or a completionist, it's a no-brainer. Is it the quintessential rye? Definitely not, but that's not a bad thing. And it's not the best rye I've ever had in my life, but few things can compete with Russell's Single Barrel. But it's also less than half the price of Russell's Single Barrel. It is unfortunately very limited. Last I checked, they only had a few available in the warehouse. And for legal reasons, they can't ship outside of California, so there's that too. But if you're a local or in California, this is highly recommended. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Turn camera.